Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Uniquely Tay. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to do a Dollar Tree DIY and how to make a fastener for tea parties and for Easter. Y'all, I've been on vacation and I'm back. So, if any of you all have been keeping up with me on my community tab, you will know that I had to take a small break to spend time with my family and we planned a trip and we not, we went out of town and it was really fun. So I'm back and ready to craft. So I've already started on one fastener, this one right here. Um, and I'm going to show you all that you would need to create this fastener right here. Show you everything that you're going to need to create it. And you, this right here was made using all Dollar Tree products. Okay, so you're going to need a pack of the Mardi Gras hats from Dollar Tree. I think I have an extra pack so I can show you what the pack looked like. Let me show you what the pack looked like. This is what the pack looks like. It's the Mardi Gras mini hats. You'll get these from Dollar Tree. So I bought a pack of those. Mm -hmm. And you will need any type of style ribbon from Dollar Tree. You will also need two bags of um, feathers because um, Dollar Tree bags come assorted. And you will need a bunch of different glitters too. I got different ribbons. Got some yellow ribbon. All these ribbons came from Dollar Tree. And I got a gold ribbon. And that came from Dollar Tree. So I have some silver glitter. I have blue. Um, I have also lime green. I have some pink glitter. And I also have some white glitter. The glitters right here are from Dollar Tree. These pink glitters. The pink, the pink glitter and the silver glitter and the white glitter, excuse me, are from Walmart. And these two small glitters here are from Dollar Tree. You're going to also need your tacky glue. You're going to need Mod Podge. You're going to need some pearls. Dollar Tree pearls. All of these came from Dollar Tree. You're going to also need some tool or tooly however you may pronounce it you will need blue yellow all types of light pastel colors pink and i also grabbed a white you will need the different colors like that of course your hot glue gun so let me i've already done a pink one right here i have to um put a coat of mod podge on this pink one to seal in the actual glitter i will do that last and i'm gonna show you how i coat and change the colors so i'm just gonna separate those you're gonna take out the elastic band the string i'm gonna take that out Gonna take that out. Okay. All right. Once the actual string is removed, then you're going to let me put something down for my glitter. <coughs> let me see. I need something to catch my glitter with. This will work. So, I'm going to make a blue one also. Okay, I'm going to take your Mod Podge. And you will just, this is how you're going to change your color of your glitter. <clears throat> I pray everyone is doing well on today. Thank you so much for all the love and for tuning in. My name is Tay. 
of Uniquely Tay. I do DIYs, home decor videos, shopping videos, tablescapes, and much more. If you like videos like these, you're in the right place to be. So make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. So you will always know when I upload my latest video. I know you all are probably wondering why I'm using this very, very, very little brush. It's because this is the first brush I got to. So I'm going to um, do a quick overview of this because I don't want to keep you all long so you can see how it's done. You only have to do this if you want to make different fasteners to match different colors or to match different outfits. I'm making some for my sister and my kids and they're all wearing different colors. So I'm wearing like a light blue and, and pink and my youngest daughter is wearing like purple. And then, um, my oldest daughter is wearing like a tan and light pink color. So that's why I have like one yellow. And I think that she has like a hint of like burgundy in there. So I just been doing like all different types of colors. So one more squirt. The weather here today is in the high 70s. <clears throat> today has been very warm. Um, it looks a little cloudy right now. But I just thank God for another day. I thank the Lord for just being here and being blessed to create more things for everyone. All right. I'm not going to do this perfect because I don't want to... Spend so much time on one thing. Because all you know, I do not edit my videos. It's so time consuming. I don't edit videos anymore. I used to. I do not do it anymore. So, I am doing as quick as I can for time purposes. So, I roughly got everything covered real, real quickly. Okay. Now, it generally takes... Okay. Let's sit this here. It generally takes like a couple of, a couple of coats to actually get it real, real thick. The actual glitter itself. It takes a few coats. Okay. All right, here we go. So we're gonna start, let me clear some room real quick for glitter. All right, so we're gonna start sprinkling, sprinkling. See that blue? Franklin. This glitter here is from Dollar Tree from Crafter Square. See how I think this is like a turquoise blue to me. Alright. You don't lightly do this to it's always some glitters are thicker than others. Like certain colors, like especially the dark colors. It don't take as much to cover it. it. Don't take as much. All right. So this blue one here has already been painted with the Mod Podge and the glitter has been applied. So I'm gonna set this blue one to the side so it can dry. And now I'm gonna move on to the dried one, which I just showed you, which is pink. See, it's, that's one coat of glitter. If you want it to be thicker, like a more thicker um, coverage, you have to do two coats of Mod Podge. So you do one coat of Mod Podge, glitter, let it dry. 
Then you will do another coat of Mod Podge, then glitter again, let it dry. Then you're gonna do one more final coat of Mod Podge, and that will be your sealing coat to keep you from having a lot of fall off from the particular glitter itself. All right, okay, so this one right here, I'm gonna show you the step that you have to do to seal it. It's already been glittered real good and we're getting ready to seal it. So we're gonna seal it with our last and final coat of Mod Podge. We ain't gonna put a whole lot, just a light coating. Cause we don't wanna get glitter all in our hair. I'm doing this just to show y'all exactly how it's done. So you have an idea of what to do. Just like that. Let me know in the comments below how your weather is in your area. I would love to know your weather. We've been having some weird weather. One minute it's like cold. The next minute it's hot. The next minute it's cold. In my area, that's the type of weather that we've been having. Okay, so that, that's how you would do it. You would go back through. You would cover the whole hat itself with the final Mod Podge. I'm okay with the little hint of my yellow showing. I like the gold and pink look together, so I'm not going to do another coat of um, glitter. Not going to do another coat of glitter. I'm going to finish off camera covering the whole entire hat with Mod Podge, and then I'm going to... Um, let it dry overnight. So, this is your next step after you cover it with glitter. Do your steps of glitter and Mod Podge. Then this is your final step after you coat it if you want to do extra um, glitter coatings. Now, I'm going to show you how to apply your decor, your decorations. So, this is another hat. This is your last and final step. Just one coat of, I only did one coat of glitter. That's it, with the pink glitter. I like the fact that it got the gold and the pink mixed together. So we're gonna take our polka dot, <coughs> excuse me. We're gonna take um <clears throat> the polka dot ribbon here. This one's probably going to be for my oldest daughter and my niece. These two here. I don't, I'm not for sure because they may change their mind. But for the event itself, we may need some extra ones. So whatever color they don't wear, I'll just bring it with me for extra. So we're going to cut the ribbon. Let me, let me just sit there, there. Okay, cut the ribbon. And <clears throat> I saw on Amazon where they were actually selling fasteners for like $13, $14, even more, like in the $20 range. And I looked at it real good and I'm like, I can make that. And it was like headband fasteners. They were like the single fasteners that you could make. They were charging quite much for that and i said for that price i can make multiple ones so i decided to take on the task itself now you can use hot glue on these hats oops excuse me i don't want y'all to be able to see it you can use hot glue on these hats the only thing about it when you use hot glue on these hats whatever you do they're very thin plastic very very thin plastic do not do not use a lot i learned that by test and trial. If you use a lot of hot glue, the hat will start to melt. <laughs> That's disclaimer. <laughs> Crafters disclaimer. It will start to melt if you use a lot of hot glue. So just a little dot, just a little dot, a little bitty dot. That's all it takes. It don't take much. Just a little dot. All right, I got my little dot of glue on the back. There we go. And that is 
Make sure y'all can see it. There we go. So now I'm going to cut it. All right. Let's sit that to the side. So now the base of it is trimmed with. The ribbon now we're gonna take our colors of tool or tule however you may want to call it and we're gonna add the different colors we're gonna add purple i'm pretty much brent popping out the colors of the the ribbon itself we're gonna use purple and it's kind of hard to tell it's purple we're gonna use a hint of yellow yellow all right we're gonna also use a little bit of blue we're gonna use all of them because that particular try to cover all colors all right and i'm even gonna tie in some white i'm gonna tie in some white too tie in a little bit of white Tying in a little bit of white. There we go. Fit that here. Just a little bit of white. And right now, you can't read. It looks like everything I'm pulling off is the same color. It's not the same color. It just looked like that. <laughs> I promise you, uh, they are different colors. But once you hold them together, and when you're far off from the camera, it just looks like it's all the same color all right so i have all three of my colors my white my blue my yellow and i'm gonna try to separate it like i'm gonna try to separate each color like that and each color like this okay there we go. So after that, I'm gonna take my leftover piece of ribbon and I'm just gonna tie a nice knot. See if I can do it in a very um, neat way. Because I'm trying to see if I'm gonna need to make an extra bow to go on the side. I may not need to. So I'm going to just tie Okay, tying the bow Because sometimes you may not always need To add on Okay So here we go I've knotted my little bundle Of Two or two leaf however you want to call it or whatever you want to call it so i'm just going to kind of like play around with it to form it to how i want it to look now you're going to take your hat for your fastener take you about two or three pearls i just like using pearls because pearls make everything look elegant and fancy so i like using pearls so i'm gonna do two pearls Now, I'm getting ready to use some of my hot glue. All right. We are going to hot glue it right here on the side so hold on for a second all right we're going to hot glue a little dab i mean a small dab because of the fact that you remember i tell you that this particular fabric i mean plastic it will melt it will melt 
That is a crafter disclaimer. It will melt. It will melt. It will melt. So I'm going to hold that for a minute. This is what you're working with. Let me back it back some. You're working with this. The reason why I have my tool so big. So if you want to. Because some people like to wear theirs down. Some people like to wear theirs. I've seen an Am a Amazon picture of a lady. Where she kind of had some of hers. Like going into her face. Like that. Some ladies have theirs kind of like pulled to the side. I like to have it where you have the option and the choice to wear it however you want to. Because everybody wears their stuff differently. So. Here we go. So I think I'm going to make a small bow, everybody. Because it's just the knot itself right here. And I want a cleaner look. And a more fancier look too. I'm going to shorten. I'm going to shorten this to see if it even make any difference. I'm going to shorten it. Um, look out for a actual community tab. I'm going to leave that like that. Look out for an actual community tab with um, with me actually wearing one of these fasteners. Okay. So, we're going to add our feathers. So we're going to do pink. We're going to mainly stick with the pink feathers. I think I'm going to do like, I think I'm going to do one. On my other hat, I did two. I just think I'm going to do one on this hat. Let me see. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take these two feathers and I'm going to use some of this tacky glue. Get tacky glue. And we're going to roll, put a little bit of the tacky glue along the bottom of that. So we're going to do one like that. I'm not going to put any more hot glue because I don't want it to melt. So tacky glue it is for that one. So I'm going to hold that for a second. One, two, three. Tacky glue. Then I'm going to come back with this little small one and add tacky glue to this and apply it also. I use tacky glue to do my feathers with because hot glue, too much hot glue melts the hats itself. So, the less hot glue, the better, to be honest. Okay, let's make sure we're holding it. I'm holding it for just a few seconds. We hold it, hold it, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now we're going to apply. That's what it's looking like now. We got, uh oh, turn it back around. We got our feather, our headband, not headband, I'm sorry, our um, our ribbon around the base, our feathers, and that's going to dry overnight, and we're going to add our pearls. 
So just find a good place in you know, where you want them to be. And we're going to add the pearls. Hold on. Let me take that off. Okay. I'm going to add the pearls. So it's going to be right here. I'm going to add it to the pearl itself. So it won't like. I'm going to use hot glue because these pearls are heavy. Just a little bit of hot glue. One. Just gonna hold it for one second. Now, you're gonna go in and add another. Bead. I mean, pearl. All right, one, two, three. Now we're all done. Now look at that. That is so cute. We got our little two pearls on the side. We got our feathers. I'm gonna flatten out the two on the side to make it kind of like lay. There we go. It's laying a little bit flatter like that at an angle. And you can pretty much style your tool how you want to. Your toolie or your tool, however you want to pronounce it. However you want to. I wanted to share all of this with you all. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Uniquely Tay. Always remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. And share my video. And always remember also to create, explore, and enjoy. And I'll catch you all on and at my next video. Thank you.